This is going to be a review on the Euro Mini 20 inch folding bicycle, the 7 speed 28 pound Campo model. They sell three models. I already did a review of the Via bike. I will put a link in the description section of this video. That's an incredible bike. It is their mid price bicycle. They also sell their higher price bike, the Urbano. That is an 8-speed, 24-pound bike. I also did a video on how to fold and unfold the bike, so I'm going to include that description. These bicycles are packed in a double carton. When you open it up, you've got your instructions, your assembly instructions. This model comes with a wrench. Not all other models do come with this wrench. You might not need it. You might. This is what you see when you open up the box for the first time. You have a little package over here. Bike is folded. You got the seat. Pedals down there. They are not folding pedals like you have on the Via. I believe this is the $179 model. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this bicycle out of the box. Grab onto the seat and one of the wheels. Lift up. This is the bike without the packaging around it. I want to do some close ups so that you can see exactly how this should look when it's folded. Because once you unfold it, after you unbox it, you might not remember or understand the proper way to fold it. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. The first step is to open the bike, unfold it, after you unfold the bike, you will take this latch, this lever, clamp it together, and there is a safety lever here, you push that downward. A close up would be... Close the lever, press the safety latch downward. Your next step is raising the seat post. There's a safety lever here. You will slide that back, turn the seat facing forward, position it to the correct height, and then take that lever and lock it back in place. Now I want you to look carefully at how this handlebar is positioned because this is really important for when you are folding the bicycle. The inside, the front of the handlebars goes against the inside of this metal piece here. The handlebars are perfectly straight in line with the bike frame. Raise the handlebars up. So they are straight. Take this lever, press it forward. It should snap in place. And I want you to see, because this is going to come in handy when you are unfolding it. When you unfold the bike, you will just be pressing this lever and then folding the handlebars downward. After you get this lever up, there is a safety piece that you want to insert into the opening, stopping the lever from coming apart. The next two steps are for riding comfort. You see right now from the packaged position, the handlebars are facing downward. We will take this lever, raise it up, turn the handlebars so that the brakes are in the position that's comfortable. Take that lever and lock it back down. And there is a lever on the right side that we will lift up and adjust the height of the post the way we like it. And then take the lever, press it back downward. The final step will be attaching the pedal, the right pedal, 
with the wrench that they give you. And you'll turn that in with your fingers and then tighten it with the wrench. You don't have to do that with the Via, and I don't think you have to do that with the top model either. This is assembled. I'm going to take it out on the road right now and test it out. Overall, I think it's absolutely beautiful. The black with the stripe lines, very sporty looking bike. Uh, it is not heavy at all. At 28 pounds, it is definitely not heavy. It's very light. Hey everybody, this is my first time riding the bike. It is awesome. I'm gonna come over a big bump in a minute. Let's see how it handles the bumps. The ride is smooth. Um, I've got the uh, tires filled up to about 45 pounds. It's got a 60, it's a smooth ride. The assembly is very easy. Taking it out of the box was easy. It's a, uh, just a comfortable ride. Comparing this to the Via, the only thing I can say is, all right, we've got somebody coming up over here and I'm riding on the sidewalk, which I shouldn't be. So let me hold on a minute. The only difference between this and the Via is this is a little bit heavier. Still not that heavy. The ride is the same to me. They both have uh, seven speeds. Via has the folding pedals, which I think is worth the extra money just for that alone. If you went out and bought it, it would cost you almost that much, so why not buy the Via instead of this? It's a lot easier to uh, disassemble and put in your car if you're going to be doing that. All right, let me go turn around. I want to do I want to do some testing on the uh, on the speeds in a minute. But we're by the airport, and I'm sure the airport cops don't really want me riding on the sidewalk over here. So let's test this out now. Oh, the derailleur is smooth. Very smooth. Okay, um, now I'm going into the, uh, I think I'm in speed one, the harder one. It's a beautiful ride. Really nice. God, I love this bike. Um, I'm going to change speeds. Very quick on the changing of the speeds. You know, if you're an elderly person and you don't want to get on one of those 26-inch cruiser bikes, that are too big and they're huge and you're not comfortable with that this is the way to go it's low enough to the ground where your feet are right by the ground if you need them to be and you don't have to worry about balance and stability that much because the bikes are they're like uh, the bikes that you grew up with the derailleurs and the uh, stingrays and just the simple bikes in the simple time so switching speeds again very smooth i like it you can get your exercise with this bike and not have to sit in a gym using an exercise bike. It's more fun to be out on the road, on the sidewalk or the bike path. Uh, my review of this bike is, I'm thrilled. The price is incredible. And it's very sporty looking. Feels good. Folds up easily, unfolds easily. Well worth the money. So that's my recommendation. If you want to buy a good bike, buy this thing. If you want the folding pedals, go for the Via. This is the Campo, and my next review is going to be on the Urbano, and we'll see how that one is. I'm sure it's going to be incredible, because two out of three, I'm very happy with what I bought. All right, that's the end of the review.